Hellraiser is back. Based on the novella The Hellbound Heart. This movie is directed by David Bruckner. Starring Odessa Ezion, if I've got that correctly. And Jamie Clayton. And is this movie any good? Has it gone back to its root? Or does it kind of fall with the rest of the other 10 installments in this franchise? Well, stick around and find out my thoughts. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning into this video. But if you are brand new here, all I do is invite you to press the red subscribe button down below so I can see you again on a future video. So this movie, Hellraiser. So just going into this, I've seen the first three installments. I like the first movie. I actually kind of preferred the third one over the second one, which may be a bit controversial opinion here. And then after that, I didn't really check out the others because I heard they kind of fell off the chain a little bit and Clive Barker wasn't so much as involved in those installments, etc. However, I heard that he kind of does return in this one. It serves as an executive producer, if I've got that correct. And I was very intrigued because there's been a lot of hype for this movie. I saw the trailer and I really enjoyed the trailer. And I was wondering, okay, well, how are they going to reboot this kind of movie slash franchise are they going to do it justice is it going to kind of just fall in the pipework so what i will say going into this movie is i had somewhat expectations but i did kind of keep it tame because i didn't know what to expect but they did get kind of like rave reviews so if you're wondering what is the plot of hellraiser 2022 essentially it's based on a young woman named riley who is trying to solve the puzzle box which is known as the lament configuration as this is the cause for her brother's disappearance so going into it i can safely say that i watched this movie last night and overall i could say i enjoyed the movie but i also am left a little bit disappointed and a little bit conflicted so i'm going to go into this review and give you a non-spoiler review what i will say in terms of my positives for hellraiser 2022 is i really like the main character of odessa a zion if i've got that correctly who plays riley i really think that she was a good character she was fleshed out she's a flawed character like we normally see in the hellraiser series i feel like you really learned a lot on her journey you got to develop her character to give enough time to really give us a reason to care about her character Riley and I can really appreciate that because all around the acting here is pretty good you can tell that there was like a lot of love and a lot of care and it seemed as if they want to try and get this reboot right so I can really just appreciate uh, David Bruckner and the team behind this movie who kind of just really cared and you can tell that this movie wasn't really made as a cash grab and be like oh, okay cool we've got our cash let's just make another 20 sequels you know i didn't really feel that here i felt like there was a lot of care paid into like the cinematography also some of the cg scenes and special effects that we see in here i feel like they were paid a lot of attention to and you can just tell that this movie was kind of made where they just took a lot of time to maybe make this movie or at least that's what it felt like maybe they rushed this in two weeks you know i i really don't know but yeah overall the acting was pretty solid cinematography was pretty cool the soundtrack and scoring here was also pretty good at times it was leading to like some suspense moments which i really liked that they had the music and that really just helped elevate those scenes and also i'd say that jamie clayton is good in this role i can't really say that jimmy clayton was great in here and i'll get into that in terms of my negatives i also like that this movie tried to go in a fresh direction and didn't do like a copy and paste of that original movie which of course stars doug bradley as pinhead i like that it tried to go on a different route try to give us like a different story and try to just basically do its own thing so i can definitely respect the movie for doing that in terms of my negatives and where i feel like this movie was a little bit of a letdown and this may be a controversial opinion because everyone seems to be buzzing about this movie but this is just how i felt personally is our main character of riley her brother gets taken by the lament configuration which is in the plot so it's not a spoiler and the brother's played by brandon flynn now we've seen him in uh, 13 reasons why as a character called justin which he's great in that series so the guy can act which is fantastic now the movie is kind of mainly based on the say the first 20 minutes we learn about his relationship with riley the brother and sister and they don't have a perfect relationship they're both flawed characters and riley's staying at his house and she's basically broke 
but he's kind of sick of her like drinking and taking drugs and pills and that kind of stuff. So we learned about that relationship and it's trying to give us time to care about it. So I was like, okay, cool. But after his disappearance, we don't see him in the movie to like near the end of the movie. And in that whole time, I was like, I just felt like it was a big missed opportunity. They could have had scenes where they maybe had him being tortured, for example, before he's ultimately killed, if that happens. I just felt like that didn't happen. So therefore, he's disappeared for a lot of the time. So that relationship that you're meant to care about in the first 20 minutes, it's just vanished. And I was like, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that at all. I just felt like it didn't really add to the movie whatsoever also another big miss for me was jamie clayton as the priest now it's not to say jamie clayton did a bad performance because i actually think they did a good performance i think the issue is though is they don't show the character i think i read until an hour and 10 minutes into this movie and it was far too long because i was like well where's the priest character i was like we haven't seen it or we've barely seen it. it it just took too long until that moment and when it, the priest character does show up it's like every single scene they throw the priest in that scene be like oh well that makes up for the hour and 10 minutes and i was like well not really because the specialty and the novelty of seeing the priest character is throwaway at that point because it's just thrown in every single scene and i, I didn't really like that i think it should have been a bit more spaced out maybe the first hour teasing the priest character showing like maybe the back of their head maybe showing like them walking into scenes or like using the action with the hands and like you know grabs the victims by the chains whatever that hellraiser is known for that would have been far more better and then finally getting the reveal would be like oh you know shit you know like here we go it's about to go down now they're in trouble i didn't feel like that with the character whatsoever so i feel like jamie clayton although gave a good performance was a little bit wasted due to the script and also with that script i feel like this movie is far too long i feel like the pacing drags quite a little bit i'd say you could chop at least 10 15 minutes off here to help that pacing to help this movie and eventually we do get to a point where there's sort of a twist in this movie which i really dug and i thought was a great idea i was a little bit checked out and overall with this main kind of villain of the movie yeah, absolutely squandered, throwaway character, didn't give a care about whatsoever. And ultimately, guys, I'm going to be honest, I felt a little bit disappointed by this movie. I enjoyed elements of it, and I think that it had big potential. If they make a sequel of some sort, I'd be intrigued to see like what direction it could go in. But ultimately, yeah, kind of a throwaway movie. So for my overall opinion, my overall score for this movie is a 2.5 out of 5. So have you seen Hellraiser? Do you disagree with me completely? Leave any and all comments down below and we can have a respectful conversation down there. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And also, do you know that I have a Patreon? Yes, for only £2 per month. A link down below in the description box where you get access to early videos, my release schedules, two times entries and giveaways to see what goes on the channel and so much more stuff. And I want to give a big special thank you to all my awesome Patreons who help support the channel. And they're honestly truly amazing. So thank you so much for watching this video and until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later